Please fit in. Please fit in. Oh, it's so close. Oh my God, it fit in. Hallelujah. Hey, Alan here and welcome to LR Triple M. So today we will be upgrading my computer, otherwise known as the Black Mamba after the late, great Kobe Bryant. So we'll be upgrading the Black Mamba today with another terabyte of SSD storage since my previous SSD storage is starting to run low. I've used up about three quarters of my one terabyte drive and let's add another one to it. So I have a little bit more room to breathe with all of my video files as well as some games and other files. So before we get started to the actual building part, let's talk a little bit about my previous SSD, which is this WD Black SN750 NVMe SSD which is about the same size and shape of a stick of gum. And it's really, really small. And newer motherboards support this and it's blazing fast at over 3000 megabytes per second read and write. On Amazon Prime Day, I was thinking of getting another one of these M.2 NVMe SSDs, these really small ones that can plug directly into the motherboard without any extra cables and such. But while my motherboard can support another one of these really small SSD drives, I'm holding off on it right now because I'm thinking of using an SSD drive only for a little bit of gaming and general storage. With the older SATA SSDs, you're only losing about a few seconds of boot time or load time of games nowadays. So it's not really that much of a difference from the newer M.2 NVMe models. So I decided to save a few bucks and also save the slot on my motherboard for maybe an updated or a newer generation M.2 SSD in the future when the prices drop. So for now we have this WD Blue SATA SSD and we will try to figure out how to install it into the Black Mamba. And honestly, I have no idea because I'm a PC building noob. I've only built one PC in my life, this is it. And I used a lot of manuals and guides and stuff while building. So I have a bunch of my motherboard manuals, my case manuals, a bunch of equipment here. And we'll see if we can get this to work. Who knows? And I should probably get a screwdriver as well, right? Hold on a second. Aha! Back with a trusty screwdriver. Let's get this open up. I might need some scissors as well. Okay, I'm ready to do some stuff to the Black Bomba. So this is one of these uh, SATA SSDs. Still pretty small, but not the size and shape of a stick of gum. So it really goes to show how much technology has evolved and improved over the past decade or so. Anyways, we'll peel this before installing. I need to find a place to put it. And this is the like old 3.5 inch hard drive thing that I took out. I'm wondering if one of these 2.5 drives will fit in there. Ah, I can pull this out. Now what? Oh, okay, okay. So there are these like four little holes. One, two, three, four. And I think there are four little holes on the SSD. One, two, three, four. Ah, I need to open the back of the case. Give me a second. I need to fit this whole thing in the back of the case. Let's actually screw this stuff on it, then we'll figure out what happens. So the goal is to, I think, put this back in here, which is easy enough to do, hopefully, if I don't put it in backwards. Yeah, don't put drives in backwards like I was trying to do. Let's actually put it in the right direction. There we go, right direction. Boom. The goal is to, <laughs> oh my God, how, how am I supposed to do this? This thick boy right here is the main culprit. So I need to unplug that. Will this even fit? Yeah, this is gonna fit. Maybe. I might need to uninstall one of the fans. Okay. Remove the fans, put this boy in. Find some way to put the fans back in. Ew, 
There's like a dead spider here. Holy crap. Now, how do I take this front cover off? Oh, I did a thing. We need to take out more fans. Man. Please fit in. Please fit in. Oh, it's so close. Oh my god, it fit in. Hallelujah. Here, fit through there. Taking out a fan. Boom. Okay. I have installed two of the front fans and the third one we'll have to save for later because it does not fit with the new SSD shroud case thing. I've also put back on this little thing, which kind of hides the SSD storage thing away from everyone to see. I feel like I'm like, I need to make sure like all the cables and stuff are like, okay. <laughs> Okay, I got the power supply cable. I just need to figure out how to plug it in. <laughs> I feel like this cable can be better managed somewhere else. So screws for this. Where are these darn screws? I feel like the two small ones are right here. So where are those four big ones? Maybe the four big ones are for the Shroud, the thing that puts, that holds the SSD. Okay, with that, I can close this freaking cover. And the Black Mamba, the front has fit together. Two fans intake, three fans outtake, hopefully that'll be enough. The area we were supposed to put the SSDs in is now covered by this nice shroud. Slightly better cable management. And we'll do better cable management for next time. What I do care is about power supply unit. So, power supply unit. Oh my god. Okay, I did a little bit of better cable management. Now I'm gonna connect the SATA cable to my SATA SSD. So we'll just take one, maybe the most convenient one, one of the more convenient ones, in the motherboard, plop on in. Let's wind it to the back, we'll turn the entire thing around. And as you can see, I did not finish cable management. Wow, uh, I think this is it. <laughs> Hey, a click! What did I do with this? Oh, the Velcro isn't very good here. Okay, let's do a little bit more cable management. Okay. I've connected my SATA ports and power supply. Now we have Fat Boy for the motherboard, Skinny Boy for the GPU. Am I missing anything? Bottom shroud, back panel. Let's put those on. Okay, so I just realized I forgot to mount the thing that holds my SSD. And I need to put these four screws into the bottom before I close everything up. So I just opened everything up again. I took out this like dang cover and I don't know what I'm doing. Back panel on successfully. Now, I know a lot of people don't like to put on the side panel before testing out the machine, but in my confident ignorance, I'm going to put on the glass panel. Black Mamba is whole again. Thank God. Now we're gonna plug this in and hopefully everything will be fine. But knowing me, 
it's not gonna be fine. Okay, so the computer actually boot up the very first time, and it's amazing. And if you look at the screen right now, we still only see my initial SSD, one terabyte SSD, and without the new one. And what's up with that? So I think we first need to get it to be recognized. We open disk management, and I kind of searched for it already before. And I think we have a new disk, unknown disk of one terabyte. And let's call it a GPT. I think that's a newer partition table. And note the GPT partition style is not recognized by all previous versions of Windows. So I think that's the newer version. MBR is the older version. So I'll make it a GPT. So according to Google, I'm looking on my phone right now. I right click this, it should be new simple volume. So I'll click new simple volume. Welcome to the new simple volume wizard. Next. Um, let's choose all of them because that's, this is just going to be a general storage drive. It's not going to be a boot drive. So I don't think I need to make anything really weird. Just the maximum size. This will be drive D. Okay. So I think I'll just click next. And finish. And hope for the best. Finish. Do I have it? Do I have it? This PC? Yeah, I have it! We have it! New volume D right here. Okay. We have our two drives. So I'll be moving some files and hundreds of gigabytes from the old drive, the 750 black, to the new one. Uh, mostly games and maybe some video files. But this... I don't know how I'm gonna edit this video, honestly. <laughs> I've been here for like two and a half hours. It's been... A roller coaster of a ride, lots of frustration in trying to cable manage and figure out how to like make stuff work. But I think it's working. And until next time, keep it logical. Uh, I guess I have to edit this. Take care, guys. Like and subscribe too. So, see you guys. <laughs> bye bye.